Hey everyone, welcome to my video on learning how to do a butterfly twist. As part of the progression, I'll also learn how to do a butterfly kick, which is like a simpler version of the same move. Because these moves look really cool, they're often used in martial arts and action movies, and personally I've liked the look of them for a long time as well, so I thought it'd be really fun to learn how to do them. I made this video showing how I learnt the butterfly twist from scratch. Well, let's get started. Like I was saying, I didn't want to learn the butterfly twist until I had a really solid butterfly kick down as a foundation. The reason for this is, butterfly kicks are a lot safer, because you never turn upside down during the move and you're able to spot the ground the whole way through. For some reason though, I kept throwing a half twist into all of my butterfly kicks, which A, wasn't actually how you're supposed to do a butterfly kick, and B, meant that I kept falling over and hitting my back, so that was not really that optimal. Even after a whole day of trying to do butterfly kicks, I was not happy with how I was doing them, so I thought it would be worth spending another day just refining it and getting that technique down perfectly before I moved on to the twist. There's a couple of different ways to lead into the trick, but the way I liked most was doing a full spin, then dipping down to the ground and launching myself into the air. There's also a bit of technique involving the timing of when you switch your legs, and you may need some flexibility too. By the end of this day, I was quite happy with how my butterfly kicks were looking, so I decided to move on to the butterfly twists. This stage proves quite a bit harder. You may notice that at first I wasn't really going fully horizontal, and that's because it's quite scary. Once I started going more and more horizontal, that's also when I started falling down and hurting myself more and more. I wasn't badly injured or anything, but it wasn't particularly pleasant either. If you were going to do the same thing, I would really recommend using a mattress. At this point, I was starting to really regret my decision not to use a mattress, but I still couldn't be bothered to find one. I hope at least that all of these falls are providing good entertainment value. Maybe I should have just called this video, Kid Smacks Himself on the Ground 100 Times. Probably get more views that way. By this stage I'm starting to get the full twist in, even if I'm not landing it very well. It's good progress, but it's going to need a lot more practice. One thing I found that was quite helpful is to do a visualisation in your mind of actually doing the trick, while also doing a bit of a mock up in real life. It just gives you a feeling of how far you need to turn and what it feels like to do the full trick. Well, there you go. Full butterfly twist. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I mean, that's, that's it, that's mission accomplished right there. But I would like to continue practicing, just to get better technique and to improve my consistency. Well, after a fair bit more practice, I'm now very happy with how well my butterfly twists are turning out. <laughs> if you like this video, you might also like one that I made about learning to do backflips. You can find that in the description. I'd be honoured to know if even just one person was inspired to or learned how to do a butterfly twist because of this video, so let me know if that was you. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next one.